Yeah. Well, so Frank had it. He bought it from Cal, uh, Kyle's. Kyle's, he bought it from uh, Stephen B's. I'd say, what, 30, 35 Stephen years. Stephen B bought it from Larry Jordan. Yeah. So you went for three, four on them? It's just a local little bar where we get uh, just mostly like older guys that are retired. They come down and have beers, uh, get away from their wives, get away from their jobs. We have karaoke on Fridays, so it's pretty fun. It brings in the younger crowd on the weekends. We have a fire pit in the backyard, big barbecues on, in the summertime, so it's a pretty cool little place. One of the nicest bars I've ever been in. You know, there's no problem ever go on in there. You know, you can walk in there, you know, you can have a couple drinks and stuff and walk out alive. We really, um, we just have regulars that come in and sit and drink with us until about three o'clock and then we have our guys who get off the of work um, that come and get buckets and drink until about six, seven o'clock and then they go home to their wives and kids and I'll call you later on to their family thing. If you could uh, talk a little bit about what you find to be the personality of this place. I think you just have to be interested in other people's lives. I mean, you have to be, you have to be open and listen and, you know, conversate and do things with people. You know, you have to be interested. And if you're not going to be interested in a bar, Al, then you're not going to make it. I heard that, Al, you ready for a beer? You ready? You ready? Come around, check the bottle. You know. she, she ain't bad for a cup on it. <laughs> I guess a little for older guys, it's like, wow, yeah, there's a girl tough yeah, winner, so when they see it, it's kind of a little hard to believe, but then when other guys come in here and they're like, yeah, I seen her, I watched her, and they're like, she worked faster than most of the guys out there, which I do, <laughs> so uh, it, it's pretty phenomenal how they uh, react, I mean, you get different, um, actually, like I had one guy tell me he'd never hire a girl on his crew, and I had another dude, like, you got more girlfriends that would want to do it, <laughs> then you get the one guys that are kind of obnoxious and like you're gonna get the bikini up on the wall and it's like really <laughs> like no it's not easy <laughs> i've been doing it for about six to eight years now um but it's a cool little job it pays pretty good money and it's fun you don't have, the wall don't talk back so you can just jam out and turn the radio on and just work